In this tutorial, we will learn how to use styles on your photos. Styles are a great way to apply a predefined look, but with the added flexibility to add some further adjustments if needed. Styles can also help to speed up your photo editing process. So let's get started. By default, you'll find the Styles and Presets tool in the Style Tool tab. However, if you'd prefer to have it in a different tool tab, simply right click on the tool tab that you'd like to have the Styles and Presets tool in and select it from this list. The Styles and Presets tool is divided into different sections. You'll find a number of built-in styles in this category here, and further styles are available to buy from the Capture One store. Once you've installed those, you'll find them in the Custom Styles list here. To preview a style on your photo, first of all, expand the style pack that you want to use. I'm going to try Beyond Film. Then simply hover your mouse over the style for an instant preview. You'll see as I go down the list, the viewer updates and instantly shows you the effect of the style. For this photo, I'm going to settle on this version of K200. To apply the style, I just need to click once. You'll see the applied style appears at the top of the Styles and Presets tool. To remove the style, just click once. Let's put this style back on again and add some further adjustments. I'll head over to the Adjust Tool tab and you can see the applied style has adjusted the sliders. To further edit this photo, I'll bring the highlights down slightly and the blacks as well to get a little more contrast. If you want to see how your photo looked before any adjustments were applied, we can click on the before and after icon here on the toolbar. A great additional feature of using styles in Capture One is the ability to place the style on a layer. This is incredibly useful if the style is too strong for a given photo or collection of photos. I'm going to try this version of FL8 from the Film Pack, and you can see when I hover my mouse over the style, it's a bit too strong for this photo. I like the general look and colour toning, but it would be better if it was reduced slightly. Right-clicking on the style will show you some further options. And you can see here we have Apply to New Layer. When applying a style to a layer, you might see this warning. It's simply telling you that some aspects of the style are not compatible with layers, and in this case, it's the film grain. The only two other incompatible adjustments are vignette and black and white conversion. But here you can see I have the choice to apply the style partially without the film grain, which I can always add to the background layer if I want to. If I look in my layers tool, you can see the style has been applied here. To reduce the impact of the style, I can simply lower the opacity to a level that I find works well for the photo, somewhere around there. To see the photo without the style applied, we can just disable the layer. This really improves the versatility of any style that you want to use. You can also create a style which has multiple layers included. For example, some of the Capture One Pro styles now have one layer for colour and another for contrast. Let's take a look. I'll open up Capture One's Beyond Film Pack and apply this version of F400. Now let's go to the Adjust Tool tab and in the Layers tool we can see the style has now been applied and two layers have been created, one for the colour and another for the contrast. If I'd like to reduce the impact, I can choose the layer and just lower the opacity like so. Or if I'd like to strengthen it, I can increase the opacity. 
being able to vary each layer's opacity independently of each other gives an incredible amount of control and flexibility for your creative process. If you're working with Capture One Pro 21, 22 or Capture One for iPad, applying styles to multiple layers is not possible. So you'll need to apply a style to a single layer or to the background. And if you prefer working with just one layer, all style packs include a standard version with this existing functionality. After you've added your adjustments, you may decide you'd like to save this as your own style. To do this, go to the Style Tool tab, and in the Styles and Presets tool, click the three dots, and choose Save Custom Style. Any current layers with their corresponding adjustments can also be included in the style, but only empty or filled masks. Deselect any adjustments you don't want included as part of the style, and press Save. Now I can give my style a name, and press Save again. If I open up the Custom Styles menu, here is my style. To speed up your workflow, you can also apply a style to a batch of photos in one action. I'd like to apply a style to these four photos. So to begin, I'll hold down my Shift key and select them all. And exactly as the same as before, I'll hover over the style to see a preview of it in Capture One's viewer. For this set of photos, I'm going to pick Stockholm at 50%, which is part of the Nordic Lifestyle Styles Pack. To further edit these photos, and to speed up my editing process, I'm going to use the Speed Edit function. So in this case, with four photos selected, if I hold down Q on my keyboard, you'll notice that the exposure slider pops up under each of the photos. Then simply by click and dragging my mouse, I can reduce the exposure a bit of all four photos at the same time. The highlights are still a bit too bright, so holding down A on my keyboard, I'll pull the highlights down to something around here. If you're applying styles to a batch of photos, Speed Edit is a great partner to improve your editing efficiency. If you'd like to know more, watch the specific Speed Edit tutorial. A great way to speed up your workflow is to add smart adjustments into a style. Smart adjustments are an easy way to achieve similarity across your images. Exposure and white balance are intelligently adjusted based on a chosen reference image. This reduces the amount of time taken, adjusting multiple individual sliders and therefore vastly speeding up your workflow. It's important to note, the current version of Smart Adjustments relies on faces, both for the reference and the images being adjusted. If no faces are present on the images, the adjustments will vary greatly. Let's take a look. The Smart Adjustments tool can be found in the Adjust Tool tab. With your reference image selected, press the Set as Reference button and you'll see your image appear as a thumbnail. Now you can select if you want to adjust both white balance and exposure, or only just one of these options. I'll keep both selected and will now press the Save Style button. We can see the smart adjustments are selected, so I'll go down and press the Save button. I'll name this Wedding Smart Style, so I know it has my smart adjustments added. If I go to the Style Tool tab, I can see my new smart style here. Now I'll select a batch of images, just like before, and apply my new smart style. With just one click, I've been able to correct my white balance and exposure. This saves a huge amount of time in the editing process, especially if your images don't have the exact same lighting conditions. You can also apply a smart style during the import process to speed up your workflow even further. 
As well as adding smart adjustments to your styles, you can add many other adjustments to create a custom look that can be applied again and again. For this photo, I've already corrected my white balance and exposure, but I'd like to add a few more adjustments. I'll add a bit more contrast and lower the highlights a touch. And I'll lift the shadows to get some more detail as well. I'll go back to my Smart Adjustments tool and press the Save Style button. I want to include all of these adjustments, so I'll leave everything selected. I'll click the Save button and add a name for my new style. I'll press Enter to save it. Now I'll go to the Style Tool tab and select a photo I'd like to apply this new style to. And we can see both the Smart Adjustments and the other adjustments are being applied. Finally, don't forget to check out the Capture One store where you can purchase the style packs that you've seen in this tutorial and others.